You know what's also like quite scary I find found recently what? on my TikTok and everything? Deep fakes. It's getting kind what's of that? Scary. Who did you see on deep fakes? I seen one on deep fake the other day. Uh, I know exactly who you mean from um where would you go in the event of an apocalypse? Mm. Where would you choose as your hideout? I know what my answer is. Okay, look at this. Okay. Right? Yeah. Look at this. That's white. No, what what is it? It's a mug. It's not a mug. Now I'm gonna make your brain think it's a dildo. What is now, about? from now on, for the rest of your life, nah, you've got to call point. this a dildo. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Back Chat Podcast. Hi. Sorry, Hello. I'm a bit excited. A bit excited today. <laughs> yeah. We have just come from filming the last week's episode. If you enjoyed that, let us know. Um, I look just... completely different. So Callum's decided to, you know, to put something else on. Are we all wearing like, oh, you see what I thought? We're all wearing kind of like much similar colours. You two look like you're wearing the same. We're all like, wearing... Yeah, we're wearing I had my green like... We're all wearing quarter zips. Quarter zips. I think quarter zips are the way forward, honestly. Like 100% the so way forward. Is the way forward. The Back Chat Podcast. How yeah, are you, baby. How are you boys True. been? Yeah, I've been good. Good, mate. How are you? When's the last time I've seen you? Was it? It was uh, actually a... Uh, Oh, it was about five minutes ago in the last podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's right. I haven't seen these boys in two weeks because we, we film. Wait. Oh, well, what, what have you been doing? Oh, what, what have Wait, you was been it doing? two weeks or a week? I think it's been two. two uh, weeks. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. It's been two yeah. weeks. So what have you we been, had a week off. Yeah. So what have you been doing in your two weeks? Um, you? God, I went to, went to Manchester, obviously, straight after the last podcast and oh, went to Christmas markets, which was really nice. And then I have been hitting the gym again. That's the plan, and I've had a meeting with some with this some this really nice guy, real, like real top business guy. Yeah, what um, was that? Uh, can I talk to you pri privately. Talk to you about that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've been going to the gym as well. Yeah, every single day since no, you we haven't. left. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. I have. No, you haven't. Why don't you believe me? Because because uh, I lived with you, and it was impossible to Did drag you? you to the gym. Okay. okay I've not. I'll be I'm honest. A new, I've I'm, been, I'm, I'm a new man. I'm a new man now. So you've been going. Yeah. So you're gonna say the gym's in the bedroom or some shares is what you're gonna say. You're, you're gonna say you've been like shagging your girl and that's gym. That's... Uh, excuse me, don't speak about <laughs> females like that, thank you very much. That is very misogynist. <laughs> He's been shagging his girl. Yeah, no. I've been very sack with the gym. I was, but I was lie. actually gonna say that I went to the gym in my in my sleep. Because oh. I've been sleeping a lot, but you know. You've been sleeping a lot. Fair cool. enough. No, I've been getting what I mean by that is that I've actually been getting good sleep. Oh, I've, that's been, good. I've been sleeping that's eight good. hours every single day. No, that's good. I, I was with eight I was with eight yesterday. Oh yeah, what happened with that? Yeah, um, and Make friends? No, because I was there watching the football, thinking he was going to play. You know, whatever. Uh, I was there watching my mate referee, and he sat upstairs with his hood up and didn't speak to anyone and left before the game finished. He's probably, probably hung over his fucking. Why is he in the middle of Essex? Someone explain. And do you know what happened as well? The minute he left, they started playing My G, which is a song with him and Ed Sheeran. Is it? <laughs> on the speakers. My G with him and Ed Sheeran? Yeah. I've never heard no, that. No, not My G with him and Ed Sheeran. It's a new song with him and Ed Sheeran. I've not heard that. Know. What's the new song? You know, always My G. It is my, is it My G? I have no idea. never heard of it. No other name for you. I feel like Ed Sheeran is such like a random I'll call music call you My G. Which yeah, he, is like, now. he is now. He's fucking like, He's just, I don't know, he's always like with everyone and every, like, does everything. Well, he started off doing um, kind of rap singing. It's what kind of what's his thing. Well, he I kind think, of like, um, what's it called? Um, I remember when he first blew I remember first watching A Team and Lego House. Yeah. I remember I was like in year seven, like watching him videos. <laughs> Fucking, he was, I think that's when he was like, Good. Oh, he's probably good now, to be fair. I don't really listen to him, to be honest. No, but you think he's leaving another artist. I was like, <laughs> you think Louis Capaldi is fucking wet like, but you think, over the castle on That's the hill. That's a great song. That is a great song. But one thing I do rave about Ed Sheeran, actually, is the fact, I've seen a video recently about how he performs at um, uh, his concerts and stuff, and the fact he does it all by himself, loop stations, the whole lot, and does every song by himself, which, like, that is insane. I'm watching a video, and I was like, fair fucking play. You know what? Like, as someone who has a loop pedal and has tried it, I can really fucking appreciate how insanely difficult that is. Like he gets, he doesn't even redo any, I redo like it every time to try and get it right. He just does it in one shot. Like just does everything. Does hitting his guitar, doing the little, it's mad. Yeah. I can't believe how good he is. Um, but yeah, I have some questions for this podcast that I saved for this one from the last one. Nice. Um, Bosh. This is a question. These are, in fact, these are all pretty like, these are actually, no, not all of them, but two of them are quite deep. So the first one is, and I used to have this conversation with people in my biology class and they just could not comprehend it for some reason. But do you think we all see the same colours? I think, no, we don't. We all see, I think I've read this somewhere as well before, we all see a slightly different colour of everything. Our eyes, 
It's, it's true. So right. my green might be your red. Now, sorry, this is fucking purple. Yeah, so, no, but this is the thing. No, no, but this is the thing. Now, this is exactly how my biology class reacted. Fuck you guys. Um, you need to be open-minded here, Cal. You need to be open-minded. So, basically, you learn that... Okay, I need something that's, like, colourful. No, you learn that this is red. That's what you're taught. They point at this and they say, this is red. Because it is red. Yeah, because that's what you're taught. It's red. Every, everything you, it's taught. But to Gilly, it might be your colour, the colour that they teach you is green. But you both call it red and you both have learned it's red. Does, does that make sense? That's like but basically anything in life. No, it's not. I could, I could grow up knowing that fucking McDonald's is called, actually called KFC. But, but when you look at it, it says McDonald's on it. Yeah, no. Okay, well, another example. Well, it's, well that, it's mug. Yeah. No, but you I, can feel and you can, you can, you can touch but it. But how do you know that's called a mug? Because we've all been taught it's called a mug. Exactly, and you've all been taught but, that it's been called red. But you can... Yeah, but this is different. Because <laughs> red is a colour. You can't touch the colour. You can't, you can't smell the colour. That's different. Colour is just a colour. That's just something you see. That's light entering your eyes, right? We are all taught... Okay, pass me the Red Bull. <laughs> pass me the Red Bull. Sorry. So we're all taught that this is blue. Now, I know some people just can't comprehend this. But so we're taught this is blue. This might be green in your eyes, but it's blue. And you know it's blue. But in your eyes, it's, gr it's green to me. Does that make sense? Do you not, do you not get it? What the fuck are you on about? I, I, I feel like I'm explaining this badly. Basically, you're telling me. All, everyone knows this is blue. This yep. is blue, blue, blue. Yep. But the way you're actually seeing it might be a different colour to how I'm actually seeing it. Okay, sorry. So you're saying bra my brain is processing the colour differently? As a different colour to oh. me. But oh. We, but it's blue, and you know it's blue, and you know it's blue, and everyone in the world knows it's blue, because we're taught it, the colour's called blue. Yeah. But it might actually be a different colour in your brain. Okay. Right. Does that make sense? So you're so telling me your brain can change the way colours are... Your brain is... That's your colour to you, but to me it might be a different colour, but we're taught it's blue, so it's blue. Okay, look at this. Okay. Right? Yeah. Look at this. That's white. No, what, what is it? It's a mug. It's not a mug. Now I'm going to make your brain think it's a dildo. No, that, what is now, about? from now on, for the rest of your <laughs> nah, life, you've got to call this a dildo. So then if you, you go about? up to someone and say, oh, can I have a dildo? They'll give you... A dildo, because they think a dildo is a dildo. Is... But actually, you think a mug is a dildo. No, you, you completely, you, you completely not understood what I've said. I've not, I, I, I kind of get it, but the way I have heard, the way I've, I've heard the thing. <laughs> That's the worst interpretation in the world, by the way. You, what are you saying? <laughs> the way I've heard about the colours and stuff is the fact that, like, everyone sees a slightly different shade or it's not like, it's not the exact blue that you're seeing. Okay, so, sense. so. That, that makes sense as to what I was saying. So you see this as like dark blue, right? You might see I might blue. see it as light blue, but it's called dark blue because we've all learned it's dark blue. But right. that's a bit different. I think shade's different. Like black and white, darkness or light is different. But I think colours, I think color, we all see, we, well, might, we might all see the same colours, but how do you test it? How do you test what colours they're actually processing in their brain? How do you do that? You can't. <laughs> the only there's thing no that way I'm to, unless right. you can see into their brain, there's no way you can know. Um, and that's why I find it such an interesting question. It's why it's really deep. The Neuralink's pretty close to being um, done now, apparently. What's that? The Neuralink. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, oh. Elon Musk is in now, did a big announcement. Yeah. What did they say? No idea. I just know that apparently it's like soon. And he said he would even test it on his kids. Yeah, he shit. said that he's, he's planning to come to the next conference with it in. Yeah, some shit like that. What the fuck is um, that? I'm, I'm terrible with, with, with fucking science, so I've got no clue. Neuralink what is basically a way, and it's insane. Basically, they'll put this little chip in your brain... And it will be connected to all your, it'll be like connected to your entire brain. And it will be able to kind of start up parts of the brain that let's say weren't usable. So people who are paralyzed might actually be able to get their body functioning back. So you're people who, who've lost their eyesight might be able to get their eyesight back. Take Stephen Hawkins, for example. So it might. Nah, that's his motor neuron disease. So probably not. I think that, I think his brain's already deteriorated or something. Yeah. Like if, it, if it's literally. Oh, like, so like you can't fix the brain massively if it's already. Maybe much, actually, much I could be wrong. I think, I think it could be cured for like Alzheimer's and stuff actually as well. Yeah, Alzheimer's yeah, is say, one of the big things. Say you're born deaf or born blind. It'll be able to reconnect or connect the. Um, yeah, because usually, yeah, it's well, neurons. So neurons. Basically, so someone with like a cochlear implant, obviously they have to have it on the side of their head to, to actually hear some form of thing. Do you say, are you saying they're, they're fixing that sort of- 
Okay, it'll yeah, be thanks. fixed into the into your head. It'll be, you get surgery, put I think, and you put it in your head. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's I don't know. I, I might be getting this wrong, but you put it in your head. They replace and then part of the skull. It basically that. is used to. Tran- it, also, I think it's basically. I'm getting ahead of myself. ADHD. You, you basically it basically um, rekindles like neurons in your brain. Like it reconnects ones that were that were that had stopped working. Which yeah. is crazy because it means that people who are blind might be, now be able to see, hear, you can now hear, yeah. smell, you can now smell, like everything. You can think anything that means like the brain is deteriorating or I don't know, not doesn't working. Doesn't work. Doesn't yeah. work, basically. Um, they might be able to solve, which yeah. is fucking crazy. And also, <laughs> they might be able to download memory and like, or like. Imagine you download memory. What? I, what? I think, I think that's the long run. Thing for what them. do you mean by download memory? Like download, you might be download, able to download your memories. Like your, con- like your consciousness. Don't you say you can- Not your consciousness. So, so the memory that we're having right now. You might be able to like relive it. I mean, I don't know if- Relive it. That's not relive cool. it, but you might be able to like get it on a screen and watch what you were seeing. I don't know. I might be getting this wrong. So, I feel like I am. A fucking camera stuck in my head. Oh, no, no, that's not what I don't know. No. That's like, that's some futuristic shit though. That's futuristic. And that, that might be, just... I think that's long run for them. Right now they're just worrying about like getting Alzheimer's sorted. I've got something right. So obviously technology is very advanced right now mm. and it's going to only advance. This video may be shown to people in a hundred, 200 years time. Predict the future. What year? What year? Pick a year. Pr- predict the future in a hundred years time. So thirty twenty two. No, no, sorry. <laughs> 21, 22. Idiot. 21, 22, sorry. 21, 22. Um, sorry. Okay, I think in a hundred years, God, we're going to have, we're going to be talking to people who are now currently on Mars living there. So yeah. hello to you guys. Welcome, welcome. We're from Earth, welcome. where you used to be, or maybe you were born yeah. on Mars. Who knows? Maybe you've never been it. It's quite nice. From currently, Mars. right now, we are only introducing the metaverse. And I think that the metaverse has taken over the world. For you guys in a hundred years' time, it was probably normal. I, I we don't, don't have flying cars. Flying no, cars, fl- no, there won't ever be a thing. Uh, I, maybe. Who knows? They've actually created flying cars. Uh, cars. Yeah, I guess in that way, but I'm thinking like, you know, the fucking futuristic ones where it's like, yeah. all the fucking sound effects. Woo-hoo. I feel like, <laughs> I feel <laughs> like there'll be better modes of transport than like flying cars. I feel like it's just going to cause be like, I reckon it'll be like rails, like, in, in the sky and like you can just like drop the thing is the population's like keep getting bigger and bigger mm. and it's going to be getting to a point where it's like I mean London I can't I even want... imagine what London's going to be like in 100 years here is something I was talking to my girlfriend about right you know how farm industry and they say oh there's no space and all this shit is taking over the land right hear me out I know this might not be the most um, nicest way to do things however you know how we have car parks and we have apartments who is to say we can't have like farmland stacked up on like against each other like that. You're basically talking about factories. Like factories, yeah. Well, but I can't, I know it's not, might not be, I forgot what the word's called. It's ethical. Ethical. But say you have a chicken coop and you have to have them like lengthwise and they take up a lot of land. Why can't you just have chicken coops that way and just have like skyscrapers of chicken coops? Well, that's what they do in like. Do they? They have like chicken factories where they just have like. St- they, yeah, I remember seeing a video about it recently. They oh. they They converted a massive like. Don't you know? It might be in a car park or just a big residential building, and just convert it into a massive chicken farm in like China or something. Yeah, because I know it's not ethical. However, I'm talking. People say there's no space for shit. Yeah, turn vegan and stuff. Realistically, it's probably not gonna happen. However, why can't we just have like yeah, like farms and like stacked up again, like on top of each other? Just uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but well, that that, I mean? Ha- that happens. That is what factory chicken I'm talking factories like are. Pigs and yeah, cows and. I mean, that might end up. That I mean, that, I'm sure that happens in some countries somewhere. I fucking like, love you know, pigs in blankets, by the way. So good. Yes, yeah, so good. Sorry, um, I just heard pigs and I just thought, oh, right, it's my, Christmas. We'll be having my belly's it rumbling. Is. Can't wait. But no, that, that happens. That's chicken yeah. factories, but it's just unethical. And that's yeah. that's why in our country, we just don't, I don't think it's allowed now. Well, maybe, I don't know, we'll do some underground bunkers or some shit where you can do that. Basically, it's all about saving space in it because obviously we're going to run out of space on the earth. So that's why they're going to have to find new ways to do, do shit. Yeah, and that's why they're trying to move to Mars. That, well, that's, that's why Elon's reason for moving to Mars. Yeah. I reckon 100% in years, 100 years time, we'll be on Mars. Um, I'm trying to think of like phones and stuff. I feel like phones will be like. Um, no, we won't have phones. It, I, 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 in, my, in my opinion, it'll all be augmented reality. So everything you see in real life, you can also like see, interact with, interact with, with, with your own brain. Like you can just. You get a phone and like you see it in your eye and just. Pr- yeah, and yeah, like you could see your notifications pop up on the wall over there. Do you know what I mean? Through your eyes. Oh, yeah. Do you know I, what I, mean? I, don't, that- I don't think that will happen, but I think there will be some sort of like 
like some form of like I don't know something where you pop up your hand. Maybe it's like but that's like a, augmented reality. In, right? no, but in, instead it. of a phone, it's like a thing that you put on your hand. And then it pops up and it's like a virtual phone. The thing is, it'll all end up yeah, going... Okay, yeah. I, I get that, but I like think... Like a hologram. It, I think it'll yeah, all like end a up... Yeah, hologram. Get, Great which example. is kind of what augmented reality is, I yeah, guess. No but but apart from you can actually, like... It's actually there. Didn't That's it? the difference. But I, everything leads to augmented reality, in my opinion. I was thinking about this deeply the other night. Um, we solve with the computers and you'd go online to, like, look up anything on the computer and then you connect to Facebook and then you talk to your friends on your laptop. Then they made it easier by switching to phones. Yeah. Um, to not not necessarily these phones, but text phones where you had to hit like the number three times in order to type A. To type C, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, and then it got even easier because now you can connect your friends and send pictures on a phone. And it gets to a point where it's like the only way, because right now we have to take a phone out, go onto it. And the only way to make that easier now is to just think <laughs> and see it. So yeah. that's why I'm saying with the <laughs> hologram, that's what, I mean. that's what I'm saying with the holograms with your phone, you're saying think. Rather than p- p- taking it out, yeah. your phone out your hand, you literally just go. It'd be cool if you. Like I'm, fucking Ben 10 or whatever it is with the watch. Yeah. I'm thinking, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. Like on your wrist, and just open your wrist and like have a phone. I, I think, nice. But then it'll also, <laughs> it'll also be a thing like um, Stephen Hawking, you know how he like looked to like speak? Yeah. Maybe it's like on the thing, you just look at it like. I, ju- I just think it'll be completely yeah. ingrained in your brain. I think you'll be able to know, get any, go out to any part of the internet. Or even if it is the internet at that point, through like just your thoughts, I think that's what. What will do you think will be like the leading sort of storylines in a hundred years' time? Um, just move them a bit. Oh yeah, Out, the oh, Red like Bull and the stuff are getting in Alfie's way. How important things like, are? Like, what, Manny McCann body found. <laughs> like, <laughs> what in two hundred years? I'm just saying he's like what storylines and saying like what you think. I think I don't think anyone will care at that point. You know, in a hundred years, like she she would be dead anyway. And yeah, that's true. Actually, she'll, that, she'll literally physically like be dead regardless. No one she's cares alive about murderers from like a hundred, a hundred and ten years ago. You still learn about Jack Ripper and stuff, though. You still learn about Henry yeah, I VIII. Guess. I guess. No, maybe then. Maybe Madeline McCann. Storylines. I don't know. Like it's a whole thing with um. Even like, will we live forever? Because like, you know what? It's actually funny. You know how they say our oh, life expectancy is like getting so much better and stuff. Like I think what was I watching the other night? And I think some. Someone, someone died when they were 83 in the, in the like 1700s, I think it was, and something I was watching. And I was like, I said to my girl, I was like, how is that a thing? How is someone living till 80 when people are still averaging like 80 now? Like how, how we say it's getting better, but is it getting better? I, I but you, you know what's funny? Is that the, the places with the least kind of healthcare seem to have the people that live the longest. Like it, like, yeah. it's like it's suburban India somewhere. Like there's this woman that's lived to like 114 or something and they've got like no healthcare and it's because they become immune to everything, I think. Cause they, yeah. they tend to have longer lifespans, which is crazy. And I think it's cause we eat so much like f- f- uh, that's stuff what, that's like- Processed food. Processed, yeah. That's what he says, family like is our like health killer. But then we say that, I know my granddad's like 83, 84. Like my granddad's the typical fucking, well not typical, he's not a typical guy, he's a fucking legend. He, he would have like a fucking sausage bacon bap every like, not every day, but quite like often some days and stuff. And like people say all these processed foods, like if you eat sausage bacon, your know, heart's going to fucking think you, you know? But he's doing well. Yeah. And he's, he doesn't eat the best. Same with my grandparents. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, they're doing all right. So no, no, it's not all a myth, however, but. I, I think, yeah, I, I think it's because we've moved so far from natural, everything being natural. I think organic. that's just, yeah, an organic. I think that's the issue. Yeah. Um, how, but, do, how do you think, like, takeaways are going to be in 100? Because at the minute, like, it's been fairly new that you've been able to go to, like, drive throughs in the last, like, 10, 15 years. Well, more well, like I've seen or, 40 years. Well, I've seen, or, no, but, like, what, like McDonald's, for example. You know, how long has that like had a drive through that's been, that's, my parents used to have McDonald's drive throughs and Really? Like, yeah. yeah, McDonald's. Shit, all right, I'm being stupid then. But obviously, int- so you started with food chains, and then you had drive-throughs mm-hmm. that were introduced. What's next? And then, that, then no, sorry, sorry, I'm getting mixed up with with fucking drive delivery. Sorry, it's, it's yeah, only, that's what I'm saying. delivery services have only really been at, uh, like on your phone. It's fairly new, yeah. It's fairly new. What's next for? So, it's funny you say this because fucking the robots coming down the road. Is, yeah, yeah. Funny you say this because I think they're trialing them in Leeds at the minute. These little rob- takeaway robots. I seen on some story. They're trialing them in Leeds, but like. I don't really think how it's going to work because there's obviously going to be some um, nuisance. He's just going to think, oh, it'd be funny if I just kicked it over or like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's going to be some dickhead. He's, just, he's going to fucking kick the yeah, robot. But and then you could stuff. argue that's the same with the electro scooters and the bikes. But I, I think- But someone physical's on that. Yeah, yeah, but 
what I'm saying is that you see them like fucking chucked, like a few of them like chucked around <laughs> on the floor and shit, you know, like scooters in London. But um, I think bots are the next step, which means poor delivery drivers are not going to have their jobs. But everything's going to get to that point where no one's going to have their jobs. Everything's anymore. Everyone's working from home. Everyone's working from home. Yeah, I think it will get to the point where they that's won't need people. Anymore. That's why we're lucky because no one's going to listen to a fucking robot podcast, are they? <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah, but AI might get to the point where they do. Mm-hmm. AI might get to the point, <laughs> and it, AI is crazy because I know that a lot of people are now studying um, the ethics behind AI. Have you seen like uh, the photo thing that's been going around recently? Yeah, I don't yeah. get that. I've been do- I did that actually. Yeah. Did you pop, I pop it up on screen? Yeah. Is it, is it, how bad does it look? This is what? me as a cartoon. Yeah, but what is it? I don't get it actually. And I'm just like, what is this? It, how does it work? It's it it just well, it's not. That's not even the most impressive thing. Have you seen the? the art that just gets made completely generically, just add like three words and then it will just make an art piece. Yeah, have you not- And they are insanely like crazy to look at. And have you not seen the fact that we can literally make, uh, you can literally AI create a person and- have you not seen it? It's like you can gen- just create someone who's not fucking real. Yeah, you can create a face oh, that's never yeah. been seen. You know what's yeah. actually quite funny actually? It's fact, you know how people say, oh, they've been doxxed. You know how people say crypto project's been doxxed. People actually fucking use that AI to put down fake pictures of people that's not even real. On that, I'm not even joking. That's actually a thing. So when no these crypto way. projects say they're docs and shit, the fucking quite a lot of them on. They use these fake AI pictures and stuff. You know, you know what's also like quite scary. I find, found recently what? on my TikTok and everything, deep fakes. It's getting kind what's of that? scary. Who did you see on deep fakes? I seen one on deep fake the other day. Uh, I know exactly who you mean from um, Wednesday. No, I oh. seen. Okay. Char- Charlie D'Amelio deep fakes. Oh my God. Was it the Sean the Sheep one? No, I've, yes. <laughs> what, is, what, is it, what are you talking about? Basically, there's this trend and it's like, it's Sean the Sheep, but then when you swipe, there's a little box and it's basically like a deep porn fake. deep fake. So, so basically, do you know what a deep fake is? No. A deep fake is basically where you take, a, you take like multiple images from someone's face. Or videos. Or videos. videos, yeah. And then, you, and then you implement them onto the face of a video of someone else. So basically, so they take- look really supposedly oh, real have you seen the America's Got Talent thing with like the guy being Simon Cow? no oh like there's a camera that stands in front of him and he's singing but it's Simon Cow singing up on yes. the screen yeah uh, that's that's deep that's fake that's deep fake pretty much yeah, it's like, oh, right, it's like, I could, like, fake. he could video himself wanking deep fake your fake face on it and it just looks like you and then, and then everyone will think it's you yeah. it's really bad I, I genuinely quite, think yeah. it's, like, it's, almost like, that, please. it's almost like I reckon at one point you have to copyright your face yeah. Like, I genuinely think that's going to have to get to a point. That's what I mean. Like, all these fucking, like, Charlie Chameleon ones. I was like, I was like, what, what, what? I was like, what the fuck is this? And I was like, it's obviously it's not real. It's obviously just- like, I've seen a quite a few of the uh, Wednesday girl. What's her name? Um, I don't know, but I don't get a hype with Wednesday as well. I'm surprised because you're into like, like Goth gothic. Girls. Did you say yeah. you've seen Charlie Emilio on Sean the Sheep? Well, no, it wasn't. No, no, no. So it's the Sean the Sheep. It's I showing, sound like a fucking weirdo. It's a picture but... of like Sean the Sheep, like two, three sheep or something sitting on the thing and then the house in the background and then in the window, it's got like a picture of Charlie Demilio, like. Naked, but it's obviously not her. Okay, and, and it's one of those ones where you have to swipe like twenty six times. <laughs> Don't pick me out. It wasn't twenty was like six times. It was like, was like <laughs> where the fuck is this image, <laughs> no, Charlie? <laughs> it was like two times, but I didn't even know who it was at first. I was like, what the fuck's this? Yeah, went on it. I was like, looked, and I was like, okay, That's brilliant. Funny. But it's obviously not here, is it? Like, no. But it's really. It's, I think it's really scary. Deep fake so, AI. But that's fucking weird. Like, if you are that fucking creep weirdo who is sat there, <laughs> but people were doing this when she was. Not of age. I know. There was people, she's only just I remember right? seeing she's one thing. She's nineteen now, is she? But I remember, yeah, she's like nineteen or something. But there was, I remember seeing one thing years ago, and it was some guy who like had a picture of her on a on a on, a, on his phone. I seen on Twitter with some shit, and it was like covered in fucking cum. But oh, she was like seventeen or something at the time, oh. and it was just like so fucked up. But that's the thing about all these like famous people, and especially when you're a young famous person, because it is fucking a dodgy world and there's yeah. very fucking weird people out there Yeah, that it's just like not safe to be honest. Like. I know it's, um, it's oh, really I, I think it'll just get more advanced and more weird as well, to be honest with yeah. you. There's a fucking creeps out there, man. They're yeah. like the little DJs that sit in their room, like wanking all day, like playing like Roblox. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, they're, they're just <clears throat> they're go, go, Jeffrey Dahmer's in that. Somewhere. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Go, going back to what you were saying, like obviously like social media is like so weird. There's so many people anonymous. You can make anonymous accounts. So when you're older, and obviously we talk about the future and realistic stuff, but when you're older and you have your own kids, when do you think it's right for them to have social media? Uh, it's gonna, I what don't age? know. It's, if, if it was right now, so let's say I had a kid right now, you mean? Yeah. Um, I'd really want to put them off. I'd also want to be a good example and not be on my, f- I'd completely like slow the amount of usage I use on my phone, first of all. Uh, to, and it might be hard, but I was But your job's like, social media, right? 
Yeah, I know, but I will try and not be on my phone when they're like when I'm they're like being brought up because I think you need to put a lot of attention to kids and them just sitting there they're wanting like wanting to like learn and you're just there on your phone like fucking scrolling TikTok would be such a bad example. So I think I think I wouldn't I wouldn't let them have their iPad or like the phone or whatever if technology didn't advance to like till like uh finish primary school. I, 11, think that, 12. I think that's a good really? time. I think it is, but I don't think it's realistic though. Like I think you're saying that iPads. It, 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 they'll it, have it, it way won't before, happen. won't like, they? They'll have it way before. Say so Joel, for example, I think he um he had like a tablet when he was, I don't know, maybe like six. Really? Yeah, well, that's just, yeah, that's just no. like YouTube and stuff though. Mm. Like, because kids don't watch TV anymore. Like, no. uh, fun, funny thing is, some of this, I was on Sky the other day, I was on my dad's Sky Girl, and I was looking at the old kids' channels. You know, they fucking like most of them were gone. Like, you know, you know, like 601, 602, yeah. all the kids' channels. You know, most of them have just gone, like, cause no one watches what, them like anymore. Pop. Yeah, like, that? there's no Disney Channel anymore. There's yeah. no fucking um, 609 is now baby TV. I was like, what the fuck's this shit? T- TV will slowly die out as a genre. Like yeah. no one, no one will stop watching. No one will con- watch TV. I think in like 50, I think it'll be gone. I think it just- We'll all be on a subscription base. Well, we're, we're all just going to be on, on online well, and even- getting it for not, I mean, not paying any like fucking like TV license tax, but also it's just, it's just outdated. And we don't want to sit there for four, five minutes between an ep- a, a, a program watching ads. Like we're not built like that. We watch like five second ads, skip it. And that's what we're used to. The like, only we time- We haven't got like attention span for it anymore. The only time that I watch TV is when I watch football. Yeah. Or like I'm a celeb yeah. or something like that. Like, yeah. But I don't even watch that every day. Well, I think it's bad how even like, um, you know, like adverts on buses and stuff, you know, for like sit, like movies come out. It's mad how a lot of them now aren't even like fucking movies come out and it says like in cinemas now. It says like Paramount Plus or some shit. Netflix, like they're doing like, they promote it on, on buses and stuff now. Yeah. Like mm. Paramount Plus and stuff. And I'm just like, like a new film, but it's not coming out in cinemas. It's on Paramount, it's on the streaming service. It's, no, it's on the streaming service. Which I find service. is like fucking crazy. Wait, so they don't even release it in cinemas no. at the beginning? No, they don't. Apparently. Prime example, coming out this this week, and obviously, well, on between the 5th and 12th, whatever, is the Harry and Meghan documentary. Oh yeah, that On Netflix. Out. It's not coming on the mainstream, it's coming on Netflix. Netflix. You've got to, you're obviously subscribed for Netflix, so. Yeah, subscribe for that's the thing. I, think, I of, also think um, cinemas because obviously that's not going to come out in cinema because it's a Netflix own. Yeah, I think cinemas will die as well. I, I think I think they'll be very. I think well, they won't die completely. Actually, I think they'll still be there because it's an experience. But I think almost all the companies will. Just, there'll be like one or two companies left in like thirty yeah. years. Don't you think that what we're saying means that the world is just becoming lazier and lazier? Yeah, that's well, that, that's, that's the that's whole. That's kind of the whole goal yeah. when you really think about it. We started off like having to fucking scavenge for food every day, like trying to like survive, and mm. we got to the point where that's all done for us. We can just get something delivered to your house. It just gets lazy and lazy and lazy. It's almost like Wally. Do you remember Wally? Everyone's just sitting there in their um in their chairs on the spaceship. What, uh, what, Wally, Wally. Oh, Wally. Yeah, Wally. Wally. It's true. Yeah, we'll It'll get on. to that point, I reckon. It's awful. I got, there you go. 100 years time, Wally predicts future. That's what it'll be. Yeah. And it, it'll literally be like, Mate, have you seen, like, like, like the Simpsons. Simpsons. Yeah. yeah, it'll be Wally instead. Yeah. Wally. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got, I used to play that game on DS. The Wally game? Yeah. yeah I, I used to play on... Uh, on um, uh, Nintendo, Wii. 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 No, that's, that's it. On the one on the Wii. Yeah, yeah. But there was one on the DS as well that was like fucking sick. I don't think I ever had that. that. And there was one level that I just couldn't get past. But it's mad because we sat down and we were like, when we were younger, even me a little bit, you boys probably more so, is that you'd play on like your DS and stuff like that. Now, you're playing games on your iPad. You're playing games on, on the iPhone. Like yeah. every time that like a kid is like, mum, can, can I have your phone? Can I play games on your phone? It's not Candy Crush. No. It's fucking... I don't Call know. of Duty. <laughs> but then I've like never PUBG. Been, yeah. But then I've never fun. been a fan of mobile. I think mobile games are shit. I've never Clash of Clans is good. I know play Clash of Clans, but I've never like, I've never I don't even have a fucking game on my phone. I'm it's just not I've, I've got really Temple Run on mine still. Yeah. Temple Run, mate. Temple Run's a good game. Good. Yeah, yeah, I think um phones with Flappy Bursts in it still go for quite a lot. Did I? Yeah. Because it obviously it's not it's Was not it one of you boys that or someone was number one in the world for yeah, a while? I hacked it, yeah. Oh, you hacked it. Oh. Of course you hacked it, you little fucking... I hacked it. My mate came over. I had an Android at the time and you can just basically hack the number and make... I made it like 999999999 or something. <laughs> and I was just like... And it wasn't even a flex because like, I knew I hadn't got it. I was just sitting there like, yeah, this is cool. I showed all my friends and they just didn't believe me. So I remember one time, I think it was Temple Run. I remember like you could glitch it where like 
I don't know if it was like the first fucking turn. If you just like swipe loads, it would just like put you on a straight path. I remember I would like fucking do it before school, leave it and then come back. No <laughs> yeah. I've done that once. I've That's done that a few funny. times, I think. I actually. find it mad that, you know, in primary school, like you had to, I don't know if you was, but obviously I had the, an, I, an iPod touch. Yes, I did as well. I, yeah, I, I had like, and, and then I had like an, an iPhone, I think I had an iPhone 4S when I was in year six. Mm. I had to, I had to, yeah. I had to hand my phone into the office before I started school. We never had that. We were like just, because was it primary school? Yeah. We we didn't have phones primary school. Like the touch screen weren't a thing at that time. So my question is actually, um, like what was your first phone? My first phone, well, what, you mean touch screen? Just now, just mobile? It was a Nokia brick and it had like a screen that big <laughs> and you had to hit- No, that's Twitter. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah you had to hit the um, the numbers like three times yeah, to do a course. C. That one of those really like, it was like that big, yeah. it was like that thick. And I just, just okay. using that, yeah. My first phone was, uh, I remember it was a Samsung Beat. <laughs> was, I think it beat. came with Michael Jackson Beat It on it as well. <laughs> no way. Yeah. <laughs> I might have been joking. You beat, <laughs> you beat on me to beat it. I used to fucking yeah. <laughs> Samsung Beat. <laughs> I'm serious. Samsung I remember that because I used to love Michael Jackson as well. I was loving it. Uh, it was like a little slide. Of you did. And yeah, it's fucking <laughs> Michael Jackson Beat It. Oh, what? Of course he does. Um, but yeah, just fucking little flip up. Mine was a Sony Ericsson. They were good. I, I remember them phones. I remember fucking number six. What were they? Oh, they would. I'm trying to think what the logo looked like. Sony Ericsson's because phones. I'm pretty sure it was so, there were Sony. There was so, like Sony on them. Yeah, it would have been. Sony that was probably 20, 14, 14, probably 2014. 2014. Really? Yeah. You know, I had like in 2010, I think. I remember this phone I had. It was an LG Cookie, it was called. That was yeah. my first touch screen. Had a little pen and everything. Um, oh, the that, pens. I used to have a pen of mine. Yeah, then I broke I sat on it and broke it. Oh. That's upsetting. When do you think the, the iPhones are going to be like stop going in now? Because it's iPhone when, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and now it's going XR. Okay, X, simply. Da, 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 da. Simply comes back to my point at the beginning of the, well, not beginning, a bit into the podcast. I think when we don't need phones anymore, which I don't, when it all, everything's augmented, when, it, when you don't need to have a device, you can just see, you can just do anything what you want through your head. That's when I think. I, Apple and all the other ones will stop. Yeah, but what number? Like, do I, I reckon it's obviously going to go to like, obviously, it's going to go in order. Like, it just, dep- it just depends when. It might do Roman numerals. Um. Well, no, it's, yeah, well, it'll go iPhone 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, I think it'll carry on like that, but I oh, think. Oh, fucking hell, it's 14 now, isn't it? Yeah, it's 14. Yeah, I, I thought it was, for some reason I was thinking of that. I got my, uh, my 14 on the way, oh, actually, 14 Pro Max. Did you buy it in the end? Yeah, I got it. Nice. Is it on the way? Or have you got it? It's on the way. Is it? Waiting, I'm very excited. Ooh. There's currently a Royal Mail strike, which is an absolute yeah. joke in yeah, the world. Piss right take. Now. I feel like we're talking to our like older selves right now. I've yeah. got um I've got another interesting question. Where would you go in the event of an apocalypse? Hmm. Where would you choose as your hideout? I know what my answer is. I think think about this. Are we talking about a safe option or just like I'm talking about like where where if if suddenly the world went to shit and there were zombies walking around everywhere and you could like, travel to one place that is in this country, because I don't, because like, you can't say just go to an island. Is it, like in in your area, where would you go? Lidl. <clears throat> Lidl. Yeah, man. But everyone will go to. That Lidl. reminds me of Zombieland. In Zombieland, everyone will go to supermarkets. Yeah, everyone market. will just scavenge. It'll go crazy there. Fuck and it. You won't be able to make a safe haven there. Fuck it! I want to go. Fuck fucking! Man. I want to get my I fucking. I, I want to get my cheese twist for the last time, mate. I would go and uh, don't make this sound dodgy. I'd go to my old school. Um, because it's got big fences all around the side, which you just, metal you cannot get through. It's how got, big are we talking? It's got, what do you mean? Like how tall? Like well, like probably high as high as that. Um, no, higher than that TV. Probably it's almost yeah, up to the top bit up there. You can't see my it, primary. My primary school is same. Yeah, um, and um, they've they've actually got weapons there because we had a CCF. Uh, do you remember that story? Oh, yeah, yeah the CCF. <laughs> they had real life uh, like machine guns. Uh, and assault rifles. They have shit tons of food. Um, they have um, uh, they have genera- uh, backup generators. Mate, it's just perfect. Yeah, They're like built, the schools are built for shout, it. Isn't it. I don't even think about like. But then won't zombies cut out electric at some point? Uh, well, and then how are you going to make backup generators? I mean, they also, they also or, I think they have solar panels in most places now as well. I think I'd so, go to a lighthouse of some sort. 
a lighthouse. But when I'm next to the sea. I just fish every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine you. I'm serious. Just imagine you later on in life just going and doing that anyway. Gets it, yeah, get, maybe. Gets, yeah. Goes fucking fishing. Do you see the Joe, the Joe Willer video? The Amazon thing. Yeah, yes. the Amazon I watched half of it. Elliot Crawford it. just got off his fucking hand and just went straight into the fucking face of a fish and then they cooked it and ate it. Really? That's it, how you've got so to that interesting. That's how you do kill a fish. That's, you yeah, get, sorry you, for spoiling it. I'm going to get like a baton and fucking whack it, but fish works as well. But yeah, you that's can, what I think. You can I'll do good. fish tickling. Have you seen that? Wow. So it's you, you put your hand in the river. You put your hand in the river like this and then you wait. And you wait for a fish to come but close by and then you kind of move your hand slowly and then you tickle it a little bit and it loves it. It starts getting all excited and then you fucking throw it behind really? it. Yeah, that's what you do. That's, that's a way to catch fish. Wiggle, wiggle. Without, without a rod, yeah. Oh. You just have to, you have to lie there for a while. And it well, sounds like that, you're talking from experience, been touching some fish up. <laughs> you tickle the fish. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get a rod, fucking fish every day mm-hmm. and just live off fish. I think that's not bad. You see, well, somebody's going to come to a lighthouse. Do you know what I mean? Actually, fuck no. I'd go to the Tower of Refuge in the Isle of Man. The yeah, but, yeah, but currently you're not living in the Isle of Man. Yeah, I mean, right now, like if you had to go in a close air, like if somewhere... you start going, yeah. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah, and your your girlfriend's house. I'd go all. back to yeah, I'd go back to my old school because that was like such a good place. Oh, that's such quite, yeah. a good shout. My primary school was quite big as well. Is it? Yeah, you got loads of space as well. Yeah. Like, shit tons, like shit tons of room. So much room. Yeah, shit lighthouse got no room. Yeah, because you have to fucking. Scale the stairs every day for cardio. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I guess maybe, yeah. I think it's hard. Say I have to go back. If I was in the Isle of Man, Tower of Refuge, because Tower of Refuge is like, it's literally Tower of Refuge. It's like a little tiny little castle just off the, just off the coast, mm-hmm. like probably like 100 meters out. And it's obviously surrounded by water and stuff. That's you perfect. Live on there, fish every day there. It's got a little moat. Perfect. Solid. Yeah, but think about it. When you go to school, when you run out of food, what are you doing? Uh, well, because I'm kind of like my, my primary school will run out of fish fingers after a while. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they must, have, they must have so much. I mean, my secondary school, but yeah. They must um, have so much Same thing, they'll still run out of same fucking yeah. chicken. Well, you got time. You just, it was all about buying time in that situation. But that's the thing, you need. Because he's got an unli- unlimited supply of food where he is. Until, True. Un- until I fucking eat all the fish. Exactly. There is a lake close Mine's by. Mine's very sustainable. I've got a lake right down. But once you leave the school. You're not safe. You're not safe? Yeah. No, well, I'll stay. That'll be the home base. You know what I mean? Be the, the base where you always go back to and you're safe. What do you say? I'll stay at home base. Have you, have you watched so. The Walking Dead? No. I finished every episode. Is this, why you, is this where the question came from? No, it I wasn't actually. Tweet, I seen the tweet the other but day. But thinking about it. Um, I've got a friend who loves The Walking Dead. Yeah, uh, 11 seasons. There's like 24 episodes a season. Well, at least the last one was 20, 24, yeah. You finished it up? Yeah, I finished it. It was actually, a, the end. a lot of people hate on the ending, but I actually thought it was all right. Right. I thought it was all right. There was the sun, a sunset. And I've never watched I'm it. I'm not going to say anymore. Yeah. Never watched it. No, it's good. Um, it's there. a bit long though. I wouldn't recommend it if you haven't got much time. Um, but yeah, any questions you boys got? I'm um, still deep in the fact of what's going to happen in a hundred years time. Oh yeah, you, you didn't really answer. Here you go. Here's a question. This is a bit obviously random, very off the topic. If your girlfriend and mum switch bodies and you had to fuck one to switch them back, who would you fuck? Fuck me. Jesus Christ, that's changed. How can we talk about being fucking stuck in a primary school and now we're being talking about mums and fucking... That, oh, that's a horrible question. It's like the whole moving mm. m- 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 forward, backward one? Nah. Oh, I don't... No. I can't answer that. Can you? <laughs> Wait, I'll ask the question again. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> if you... <laughs> if your girlfriend and mum switch bodies and you have to fuck one to switch them back, who would you fuck? So would you fuck your mum... Your mum's body, who's your girlfriend, like mentally, or would you fuck your mum's body with your girlfriend mentally? <laughs> that is so horrible. So my, I can't. So my, my girlfriend is basically, it looks like my mum and everything, yeah. but it's actually her. Yes, yeah. they've switched brains, basically. <laughs> they've switched brains. <laughs> sorry, I just imagine. So you have, sorry, my mum's watching sorry, this. Yeah, my mum's watching I, I, this I, right I now. Just, I just imagined Maxine. <laughs> So you'd have to fuck your girlfriend right now, but Ma- it's actually- No, bro, my mum's definitely watching this. You know that she comments on every single it's actually, it's actually your mum in the brain of the girl that you are having sex with. So would, would you do that? Or well, would you do well guess what? I've got the easiest answer. Yeah. We're all virgins here, aren't we? So. No, but you have to do it. Otherwise, this, is, this, is, this is like- This is like- Hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically. Oh, boys, fuck which, sake. Come on, which one would you pick? Alfie's going first. No, no, no. I've, I'm thinking- <laughs> 
It is so fucked. Am I. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think, like, what is the best guy to answer? Hang on, you, know? you asked the question, so you fucking answer it first, mate. Oh, this is making me fucking... I know, it's horrible. Oh, I hate it's it. It's your feet. I was wondering whose feet was touching me. I, I was yeah. getting all excited then. No. Yeah, go on, answer it, Gilly. Because you're the one who's put us in this shit situation, so you're the one who's going to fucking get us out of it. Um... Nah, I, I, I don't know. I think I, I'm the fucking I'm the one who's asked the question, so I don't think I'm, I'm, jump, I mean, I'm jumping off a bridge. Simply, I'm yeah, still, I would, I would, would you, actually like, just leave it. I'm just a little. I'd yeah, leave I would it. jump off a bridge. If, if it was like that, would die. I'd die. Yeah, which is big for me to say because I don't want to die. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to live forever as well. I want to live forever. So if I ever, if if I ever die to suicide, that that wasn't me. Tell you what, a weird thing happened every day, right? Um, I had a dream about digging up mummies. It's a pretty weird dream. Well, actually, like mummies or like mums. <laughs> what? No, like you were just like, talking about mums. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not digging up fucking out. I'd be pretty twisted if I was digging up. Mu- no, like mummies is in like Egyptian mummies. Oh, right. Got you. And then digging them up. And then that same day, there was news about mummies about like on the, on the, uh, obviously some like fucking Instagram page saying like mummies have been found with like golden tongues or some shit. But I had a dream that night of digging up mummies. Maybe you actually did it and you didn't realize. How mental is that? Maybe you. In your dream, you went, you TP'd to another place. Maybe I did. Teleported yeah. and um, became the digger. TP'd. And then you tp back and yeah. slept. How do you remember your dreams? Because I'm trying to think, because I had a dream last night, but I can't think of, See, I can't remember. It's weird because most of the dreams I have. You remember for like I remember, half a day. I remember a lot. I can't explain them, but I remember them very like, I detail, had a, like uh, the detail of them. So I think if I start writing, if I start drawing them down, would be the best option for you because I can't really explain it. I had, um, to be honest, I, I remember my dreams from last night because I woke up at 5 a.m. That's when I woke up this morning. Big boy hours. 5 a.m.? 5 a.m. I woke up well, this morning. Have you gone morning. to the gym this morning? No. Just I just up. I just woke up then and I was ready to go. I was literally w- wide awake. But I called, my, my girlfriend was still awake. She hadn't gone to bed. So <laughs> I called her and explained to her my dream. And then, and then just, and that's it. So I remember very clearly. What was your dream about then? It, it was just, I remember, it was about train guards getting annoyed at me because I, I got, I, I like traveled to New York via train. Don't ask. <laughs> and then, and then my, my, I think that's going to be possible by the way, in the future. Talk about the future earlier on. I Maybe think we'll be an able underground to... train under the sea. Well, to, to look at like, Eurostar. Yeah. I mean, that already has been done, isn't it? So, I mean, that's a big hey, ass, that will cost billions. There you go. When like, why, like, why aren't like bullet trains and stuff a thing in the UK yet? That'd be like... I think it's because, I think it's because our country, so this is the thing, because our country's so old infrastructure is just shoved wherever it can be put. Whereas in America, everything's straight lines. All the roads are straight. Everything's like, like intersects. Well. Yeah. yeah. So like, like Japan, it's kind of a newer, newer place. Ours is yeah. really, got really old history. America's quite new. Mm. So I think it's, that's why we don't have bullet trains and stuff because it, it like we've got, we're also really hilly. Like America's really flat. And yeah. so, and I, I don't know if Japan's actually that flat. Some places are, some places aren't. Um, but um yeah, I think that's why. It's because we're oh. old and we've got castles dotted around fucking like, you know, you've got roads. Our roads are so weavy in, in the UK as well. There's Especially very if few you go like roads. down south, like near Cornwall. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Mate, They're it's all over the place. Mm. They're just put where they can be put. So yeah. I don't think they, they can, they can definitely be a thing. I mean, I get a train to Manchester and it only takes, um, only takes like two hours. Well, so I mean, imagine that's just so minutes. expensive. It's, so, it's like more expensive to go to Manchester from London than it is to go from London to... I know, like Berlin or something. Yeah, it is. I know. It's ridiculous. I'm mad that yeah. it's, it's, eight, Mental. it's eight quid return from Houston to like Manchester, Piccadilly. I, bu- um, I booked that to fucking Luxembourg. Yeah, you can literally go, you could go to like Amsterdam for less than that. Yeah. Via train. And that, that's, that's two people as well. Go to Luxembourg in January. Are you? Yeah, that's how you. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, I, had, um, I have like flight vouchers and stuff, so free trip. That's exciting. Really? Yeah. 80 pounds. Oh, yeah, you use. Two people. I might get American Express, you know. Actually, I don't Ooh, know. Well, a credit card. Then you, you have to, apparently you have to have, an, I have something to call about this. You can't just get an a, an Amex card. You need to um, have a credit card in the past. You need to have, to need to have pro- a good credit score. To prove that you can get an Amex. You can't right. just, no one can get an Amex. So Speaking about holidays, when are we doing a backchat holiday? Because <laughs> we, we spoke about it at the start, but I think we can make good content abroad somewhere. Well, guys, mm-hmm. all you've got to do is, this a Patreon is linked below our PayPal. Do we have a, page, do we have a Patreon? No, now? we don't. No, we don't. Oh, are we going to have a Patreon? Um, no, well, we we're thinking about Do it. Do you guys want us to make a Patreon? Like like side plus, but um, back we, plus. We'd reinvest all the money though into content. So videos and stuff. Because we videos, need to start so. doing, when, so we need to like our next like sort of video. Guys, we, we actually have a meeting yes, after this um, where we were talking about lots of things. So. Yeah, we, we should end that. Actually, we've been, we've been at live for 46 minutes. So. Fucking hell. Really? Yeah. 
Okay. Really? Really? Uh, this, has been, this has been a different one. It's not been really any... Oh my God, have we actually spoke about the... I'm, the, the, I'm not saying because we want to get monetized so, in this one. Cause, uh, have we spoke snacks. about that? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, no, no, no. We need to talk about um, having... With your mum or sister? Oh, we'll be monetized. <laughs> so we're probably, well, we might be monetized, but last we were last time. So I was about to say, I swear, you silly man. There you go. All right, time. guys, thanks for watching. Thank you. See you next time. Bye. Uh, yeah. Follow us on socials. Like the video. Comment. We love Join you. Discord. Join Discord. Join the Discord. Bye. Bye. Oh.